Well, the Raptors are up 3-1 to one on the Golden State Warriors. And I still can't get over the fact that we couldn't beat the Raptors, that we blew a 2-0 lead, because, you know, coming into the, the finals, I mean, I didn't really care to begin with, but, like, I really just wanted Golden State to just beat Toronto, and I think everyone thought they were going to. I think everyone thought they were going to be able to win pretty pretty easily, maybe a f five, six max, you know. Now with the Raptors up 3-1, you realize, oh, the Bucks legitimately had a chance against the Warriors. And I, I believe that even though, um, even before, you know, we got to the finals, I believe we would have a legitimate chance against the Warriors. But, like, the, the Raptors have just... They have outplayed the crap out of the Warriors. Like, it's not even close. Like, the one game that the Warriors were able to win was on a last-second Andre Iguodala shot to put the Raptors away. That was it. Like, the other, the other games, you know, the Raptors were very clearly the better team. And, like, just knowing, you know, that it, it could have been the Bucks, It could have been us. And I, I guarantee you my life we would have – we'd probably be in the same situation. Up 3-1. Now, obviously, the series isn't over, and if the Warriors get KD back, then things might get a little interesting. But, you know, I mean, that that's it still feels, you know, like the Bucks would have won the finals. They had a golden opportunity right in front of them. They had every opportunity to win that series, and they, they couldn't. And I don't know if I'll ever get over that. I don't think I will, honestly. It's it's just another addition to the long, long list of playoff and championship game failures that I have witnessed as a Wisconsin sports fan. Only once in my life, only once have one of my teams got it, got, actually got there and won the whole thing. The 2010 Packers. And I have seen it's it's not just like we've we've just all of our teams have just sucked since then either. Like I mean, obviously I'm I'm glad that we aren't a bunch of you know uh, bottom feeder teams, you know. But at the same time, it's like we've had so many teams that have had. Oh shoot, the light went out. Sorry. There we go. We have had so many teams that are like great they are great teams like I, I like I I've felt like almost every one of these teams like could have won the whole thing like 2014 Packers definitely could have won the Super Bowl 2011 Packers definitely could have won the Super Bowl um let's see here uh 2015 Badgers of course definitely could have won the national championship in fact they had a ton point lead in that game um let's see here uh 2018 Brewers could have won the World Series. 2011 Brewers could have won the World Series. Um, 2017 Badgers, eh, could they have won the playoff? Maybe, maybe, as probably more unlikely than not, but still making the playoffs, you know, that's just such a huge accomplishment in and of, in and of itself. Um, what am I missing here? Uh, 2015 Packers, uh, another maybe, I don't know. They might have been able to make it to the Super Bowl, but I mean, I'm pretty sure the Cardinals got waxed in the NFC Championship, so maybe not. But still, you know, much would would have much preferred to have that hail mary game end in a victory for the Packers, because that would have been a probably out, up up at the top of my list of greatest sports moments ever if we had won that game. But um, let's see here, um, 2014 Final Four Badgers definitely could have won the championship. Uh, 2012 Packers in the divisional round. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I think, I, I bet you they could have won the Super Bowl that year. They could have won the Super Bowl. Um, it was, I mean, the defense that year, I think it was solid. It was just the one game where they had the read option and Kaepernick absolutely lit them up, you know? Um, 2007 Packers, abs I, th I think they could have won, you know, against the Patriots, given how the 9-7 and seven Giants were able to do it. Obviously, the 9-7 and seven Giants had a really good defense, so it was able to get a lot of pressure on Brady. But we had a pretty good pass rush that year, too. Um, I mean, you could go back way. You could go back all the way to the 90s for these. Um, let's see. Uh, 
95 Packers had a, like a 10 point lead against the Cowboys in the championship. They could have won the Super Bowl that year. Uh, the Super Bowl 32 against the Broncos absolutely could have won that game and should have won that game. They were huge favorites going in. Um, 98 Packers, the catch to. Yeah. No, 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 no. I don't think so. They're a wild card team. No, no, they wouldn't have been able to. Still, though, like. You guys get what I'm saying, though. I know I spent probably longer than I should have on that, but, like. Just. It's just another addition. Like, every year. It's a yearly tradition for us. It's. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It's a yearly tradition. And it's incredible, honestly. Like. God dang it. Come on. <coughs> I've, I don't think there's ever been, you know, a, like a, a sports, you know, a sports market that has endured something like this. I mean, I think the most comparable would probably be Cleveland. <laughs> God, <coughs> why am I coughing so much? Cleveland in the 80s, um... They got beat by Jordan, the shot, um, nine, 1988, I think that was. And they had the fumble in the drive in, like, consecutive years against the Broncos. Um, uh, um, I'm not sure about the Indians. I don't know how good the Indians were back then, but holy cow. What's it going on with my throat? <laughs> you guys get the point, though. Um, there, there's just no, nothing really compares, and it's crazy, honestly. I, I, I mean, in a million years, who would have ever thought that something like this would happen, you know? And it just every single year, it's every single year. Like, I just, I can't believe it. It's just so, it's just so crazy, you know? It's unreal. But anyways, I just wanted to give my thoughts on the box. I know I ended up talking more about Wisconsin sports as a whole in this video, but just, it should have been us, man, and the only way that it's going to get better is if we get, we get there next year and win the whole thing next year. If not, then, you know, even then, you know, we could win five in a row. I still don't know if I'd ever get over it because this was a chance to upset, the, to upend the dynasty, you know. It was a chance to end that dynasty. It won three in four years. Would have been probably a historic you know, moment, and it, it, if the Raptors win, it will be a historic moment, it'll be, you know, Kawhi will be the guy who ended the, the Warriors dynasty, and just thinking, you know, that could have been Giannis, like, it just kills me, and I don't know if I'll ever get over it, but anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time, just wanted to get that off my chest, um, fear the deer, go pack, go, go Brewers, and I'll see you next time.